There are few positions in government as powerful as the one Jerry Butts just left. Uh, the right-hand man, Trudeau's political confidant, along with Katie Telford, the prime minister's chief of staff, the trio formed the center of decision-making for this government. But Butts is more than that. Justin Trudeau also describes him as one of his best friends, though their backgrounds could not be more different. One, the privileged son of a prime minister, the other, the son of a coal miner in Cape Breton. From their time as students at McGill to Trudeau's wedding, Butts was with Justin Trudeau from the moment he decided to run for liberal leader. He's been a constant presence and a key architect of the campaign that propelled the Liberals to victory. We've taken a team approach from day one. Uh, there's, uh, the leader of it has done a phenomenal job, and that's Justin Trudeau. So we're, uh, we're very proud to work for that man tonight. Trudeau has always seemed aware of how much he owes Butts. Katie and Jerry are two of the smartest, toughest, hardest working people you will find anywhere. They share with me the conviction that politics doesn't have to be negative and personal to be successful. From then to now, Butts has been central to the Liberal government. He helped craft the narrative, the story Liberals wanted to tell Canadians, pushing the government's signature Canada child benefit and carbon tax. Butts has also been described as Trudeau's safety blanket, his enforcer on Twitter and in caucus. Critics called him the puppet master, the brains of the operation, the liberal most willing to publicly pick fights on wedge issues. I, I think that people have been underestimating Mr. Trudeau since before he was in public life, and I, I, I think it will probably continue. I, I, uh, I think he's done a, a truly remarkable job. Which is part of why the prime minister today thanked him for his friendship and why no one here thinks Gerald Butts is going too far from the Liberal Party. As for the investigations into the SNC-Lavalin controversy, tomorrow the House of Commons Justice Committee will meet again to debate other possible witnesses in its probe. Last week, you may remember, the Liberal majority voted down calls to have some key players testify, including Jody Wilson-Raybould and Gerald Butts and senior members of the Prime Minister's office. So all eyes will likely be on that tomorrow afternoon.